to show you how you can take Pikititirsha and tailor fit it to your background. Okay? Whether you're a striker, you're into trapping, or you're uh, also an FMA practitioner, uh, what I do is I look and I try to go around and I try to meet people and I try to know their background so I can somehow tailor fit it to their personality and what they do. Okay? And I'm a big, and I'm a big um, believer of how FMA can enrich your movement. Okay? Now, the difference is if you're into like a, let's say a Japanese system, uh, you, do, you do first your empty hands and then you add your weapon, weapons to it after your empty hand training. As you know, in FMA, we use, it's reverse engineered. So we use this to bring out our empty hands. And for a long time, I've been doing drills, and I, I, I realized that some people, uh, they, they have questions about why we're doing this. And I, I like to show that there is no wasted movement in everything we do. Always ask yourself, why am I doing this? And uh, there must be a reason why. Because the, our instructors before us um, had a reason why they did that. Now, just before we start, so you know, we have two drills. One is a mirror drill. Those of you who are instructors, you know this. A mirror drill is to bring out body dynamics. Okay? Not then you have a feeder drill. Feeder drill is like meat work. That's to bring out your application. So you have a choice. If you're an instructor or a TO group leader or you're a practitioner and you have a training partner, you use both in and out. You want to get movement and then you use the feeder to bring out the application. Okay? Instructors should train yourself to be good feeders because you want your student or your training partner to bring it out. That's why when you see people doing mitt work, there's a lot of skill there. But they're also punching also, so they, they bring it out. That's what I want to show you also. Now, there are patterns we have that I will share with you that hopefully will enlighten you with that. Now, another thing, always have a toolbox mentality. You have your trapping, you have your striking, you have your, in FMA, you have your long range game, your mid range game, your close range game. You have your disarma. You have offsetting, left hand uh, priority with your weapon hand priority. You have also uh, edge and impact use. You have espada idaga, uh, espada idaga or baston idaga. You have doble baston, you have sibat. All of these things are there. It's a, it's a very rich uh, path you're going to take. So be patient and uh, I will try to play that role while we're here to explain to you why we do it. Because when I was talking to Tohan Jared, we always want to give, share the system, not even teach, share the system. I'm not here to teach you, but to share my path. And I've seen you, some of, some of the guys I, I hear are, inspire me. I feed off your movement and it inspires me. Okay, I'm so proud of everyone's movement. Okay, let's start. Now, I am a big believer now of chamber loading. Chamber loading is what you take from your beginner to your very advanced level. Okay? Chamber loading is our uh, is how you read your partner. Okay? Not even fighting the person but read your partner. Okay? And I'm going to show you how to go from different weapon uh, le le weapon patterns on the chamber loading including your empty hands. So enough talking. We're going to start.